I have like a free 21 questionnaire down there at the comment box. I will put it there so that you can fill it up. This is free and What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, top realtor here in Central Florida with EXP Realty. Today I'm gonna talk about or I'm gonna give you some idea if you should buy your property right now or you should wait until later on before purchasing your own property or a rental property if you are investor. So I'm just gonna give you some idea so you have some option if you are undecided if you are going to buy your own property. But before I start this video, if you're not subscribed in my channel, please subscribe. Welcome to my channel and also smash that like button for me. And most important thing, share this video for those people who is confused whether to buy a property now or wait until later on. And also, I would like to say I don't have a crystal ball. This research or this opinion that I'm gonna say here is only for my personal opinion and also for educational purposes only. I am not a lawyer or I am not an accountant. I don't know anything about the future. So are we clear? So let's move on. So first thing I would like to say here is take consideration of the APR. What do you mean by APR? So APR APR means like whatever you're gonna take for your mortgage and the interest you will get for your mortgage that's you call the APR right are we clear on that one if not I'll give you one example so for example if you are planning to buy a property and the property costs let's say five hundred thousand dollars so that's only for example and the APR is let's say ten percent so what is ten percent of five hundred thousand so ten percent of five hundred thousand is fifty thousand all right so if you take that fifty thousand hold on let me just check my calculate that's right and 500,000 times 0.10 is 50 grand right i'm correct Wait, i did it <laughs> so i have to calculate i'm not really good in math i'm sorry about that but i just want to double check it so your apr will be fifty thousand dollars so it depends that fifty thousand dollars it depends on your agreement if you're gonna take it for 15 years or let's say 30 years you times that in how many years you're gonna take your loan and that's gonna be your interest in your mortgage right are we clear so let's just move on so what i'm gonna say here why i mentioned that because sometimes some people don't think they only focus on the price of the house what do you mean about the price of the house so basically we have like APR and also the price of the house so what could happen is sometimes when the APR or the interest rate of the mortgage is getting lower it means like only 2% 1% so the tendency is the more people who would like to buy their property so when people are buying property so it means like the price of the house is going up because there are more demand does it make sense so it means like more demand and then the inventory are getting lesser and lesser so the tendency is the price is going up 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 so are we clear on that one but if you vice versa so for example the price is getting lower but the APR is getting higher it means like the APR is getting higher like six percent seven eight maybe nine or ten percent not a lot of people can afford the mortgage so what could the happen is the price of the house will be lower so it means you will see the crash maybe they could say like a crash but i wouldn't say a crash really but i would say like a decreased price or maybe not dramatically the price of the house will go really down but it will go down slowly a lot of people cannot afford to buy a property it's just because of the too high interest rate of mortgage right does it make sense so that you need to take consider that so right now we are on five percent interest it it depends on your market also it depends on your credit score if you are planning to purchase a property how do you know like if you get like a five percent three percent APR all you need to do is you have to talk to your lender or talk to your bank whatever the bank says let's say they give you lesser APR or lesser mortgage interest rate due to high credit score it means like if you have like a high credit score the bank or the lender or the private lender will give you like a good mortgage interest rate it's just because they know that your credit score is good so it means like they trust you to pay their mortgage you know on time right sometimes they give you consideration that makes sense but you have to double check with your lender or your bank if you are planning to do this are we clear on that one yeah. this is what i experienced in the past someone asked me like rj should i buy it right now or should i wait until later on because the prices now are too expensive are too high what i answered 
compared to this guy it depends on your financial situation right if you are ready go for it but i gave them option this option i'm gonna tell you is here so don't think about the price of the house think about the apr what is going on why did i say that it's just because if you are going to purchase your property especially if you're gonna take it for 30 years loan mortgage so you have to pay like monthly payment for 30 years so whatever the apr right now on the market that is the one that you are going to stick or pay the bank or the lender for i don't know 15 years mortgage or maybe 30 years mortgage you will stuck to that apr or loan interest so make sure that don't just think about the price of the house so if you have like let's say right now it's five percent it was from three percent that's why a lot of people can afford a mortgage it's just because like only three percent of the loan if they get the mortgage for their property and they stuck there for 30 years it's not too bad compared to five percent or maybe eight percent so for my personal opinion right now is five percent the interest rate if you can afford to get the mortgage now i will do it if you're gonna wait later on i believe like the interest rate is going up to seven and eight percent later on end of this year so if you're gonna wait until later on you maybe end up like getting seven percent or eight percent loan which you could have gone for five percent right now if you get pre-approved and get your mortgage and close this deal or close a house that you like rather than wait later on you know paying another three percent for let's say 30 years would you rather pay more or pay less i hope that's makes sense so if you have like less interest rate five percent interest rate compared to eight percent interest rate which is currently right now i would rather have five percent interest rate but now if you are investor and investor who's listening here or watching this you are all welcome so if you're an investor this is different story if you have a cash cash on hand or pay cash in the property i think for my personal opinion it's better for you to wait until the markets go down it's just because like you're not gonna take some money from the bank or from the lender you know who, which you will be get stuck for 30 years to pay the interest because you have cash to pay that property so it means it's better for you to wait until this market go down a bit cool down a bit and then the price of the house could go down is just because of a lot of people cannot afford to get a mortgage so if you have a cash to pay for it my personal opinion is just wait for the market to go down and then when you're ready if you're happy about the price of the house or if, let's say you just been waiting for a while and you have cash do it don't just buy the house when the market is too hot it's just just because the price of the house what you're gonna pay is more than what it is worth does it make sense yeah. that's only for investor for those people who pay in cash so it depends on your situation it depends on your goal it depends on your financial situation i will take some consideration on those two factors because sometimes when you think like the price is going down and then you think like the apr or the mortgage is going down as well i don't think that will happen it's because you can't be like low price and and then low interest rate and then people will think like oh we will get this one you can't do that i don't think that it will happen it's either when the price of the house of the property is go up probably the interest rate is a bit down when the interest rate is go up probably the price or the property prices right now is cooling down that's you call like demand and supply or supply and demand if you get more supply it means like the market is cooling down if you have like more demand it means the property is hot at the moment so that properties are expensive it's just because due to apr people can afford you know get the mortgage and buy their property or people cannot afford the mortgage it's just because the interest rate are too high for them most people are depends on the interest rate but some people doesn't understand what does the interest rate do for them and then what the price do for them they cannot compare how does this work so that's my explanation for that one i hope you found any good in this video i'm trying to explain as much as possible to understand what is the difference of the price and also the interest rate or the apr when purchasing a property so that's the video for today i hope this video is helpful i hope this video give you some clarity if you have to buy right now or you should wait until later on all i can say my best advice here right now buy it when you are ready but think about it if you're gonna do it for long frame it, like if you're gonna make a loan or a mortgage or a house if you're gonna pay for 30 years you can take time but don't wait forever because you never know the interest rate is going up 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 and you will stick to there for 30 years <sighs>
price of the house is going down is just because not a lot of people can afford it but if you are paying for cash you can wait until the i would say the <coughs> real estate market is cooling down a bit so that the price is not that high and then you pay it cash so you don't have to be on the 30 years mortgage and stuck on the interest rate right now since you have a cash to pay for it you just pay cash so i hope that makes sense if i miss something or if you want to comment some more or if you don't understand anything comment down below and i will answer all your comments and also i will put my email address here down here and also text me if you like my work phone number it will be down here if you have some question or you know some clarification when purchasing a property i could help you all you need to do is just reach out and we will talk about anything that you don't know when purchasing a property all right thank you for watching in this video once again i'm gonna say if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and also smash that like button for me and share this video for those people who is confused if they should buy right now or wait until later on if you watch this video until this end comment down below mortgage so i know how many people who watch this video until this end and i really appreciate that one if you are looking to buy a property i have like a free 21 questionnaire down there at the comment box i will put it there so that you can fill it up this is free and confidential once you fill out that form it will send it to me automatically and i will review it personally and i will get back to you and help you to find your property right now all right once again thank you for watching this video until this end and i'll see you on my next video peace the, the supply is where the house and the demand where hold on it's a bit itchy but i'm gonna say uh, oh my god do it again take three man take three